<clears throat> okay, so this seemingly simple integral has a fairly tricky solution. So as you can maybe guess, it might be a u substitution type integral since we have something in the denominator whose derivative is essentially in the numerator. So let's try it that way and see what happens. So if we let u equal the denominator of this function, that gives us du equals 2x dx, which is part of the numerator. So notice, there's our u, but now our du is only this portion. But that's not too bad, because if we look carefully, what we're left with is 1 over x squared plus 1, which is hopefully an integral that you're, you're familiar with. So that gives us some motivation to split this thing up into the sum of two integrals. So let's do that. We can write that as the integral from 0 to 1 of 2x over x squared plus 1 dx plus the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. Great. And now using this original substitution, we notice that we can write this in a much more simple way using that substitution. So that gives us the integral of 1 over u du. And now let's see what happens to the bounds of integration because as we've seen, these are x numbers, but we need to translate, translate those into u numbers. So we can go over here to our substitution and see what happens. If x equals 0, u is 0 plus 1, so u is 1. And then if x equals 1, u is 1 plus 1, so u is 2. Great, so now we've got this first integral taken care of, and now we can check out the second one. So the second one, there's actually nothing to do. No substitution or anything like that. This is just the derivative of a basic function. So if you look that up, you'll get that this is the arctangent of x, in other words, the inverse tangent function, evaluated from 0 to 1. Okay, great, so now let's finish it off. So this is obviously going to give us the natural log of u, evaluated from 1 to 2. I'll leave off the absolute values because we're in a positive part of the domain. And then, this is going to be plus the arctan of 1 minus the arc tan of 0. So now if we plug in numbers, we'll see what we get. So the natural log of 2, well, that's an irrational number that we can't really write any simpler. The natural log of 1 is obviously 0, so that leaves us in the end with the natural log of 2 plus arc tan of 1 is pi over 4, and then arctangent of 0 is 0. So there we have our final answer.